Hello everybody and welcome back to another race and another Grand Prix of Trinity Competitive Racing Action. My name is Alan Calvinarama. Join alongside Sensation or Carl and we're here for the Canadian Hello. Grand Prix. Yes, the final round of this championship. <laughs> How you feeling? Good, good, good. How are you? Uh, I could be better, but uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's alright. Yep. However, great way to end the end the night out for me. I mean, we have 15 drivers here, all looking forward to a chance to win their final race of season three. We have 10 minutes left in qualifying, and I don't think anyone has set a lap time yet, have they? No, everybody's on the out lap. Okay. Uh, something I didn't notice. I'm going through all the drivers. Every single driver has the ultra soft tires on and CDMCs on the pits. Still trying to adjust that setup. I'm not sure if he's going out there on the super softs. But it appears a lot of people are out on, um, you know, going out for a lap time. And uh, it seems to be very few people are in the pits. Uh, usually in Lee races, I'll point out that these are banker laps. They go out uh, for the first time, they set a lap time, and then they come in and they set a more competitive lap time when they lower the fuel mix, find a new set of tires. Um, do you think any of the, those drivers will ignore that strategy and just go for one single run out there? I believe they will. That one stop, and they're gonna try to uh, just put in as many f quick lap times as possible. So right now I'm riding on board a CDM scene. Like we said, he did put on the super soft tires. I'm not sure what he's going for there, since every other driver is going for the ultra soft strategy. And as the motor has a fast lap time, yeah. one twelve one. Oh, destiny. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, motor. I think somebody's going to clock a 109. I don't know who. A 109 is very possible here. No. We'll see. They put on which detail. Maybe a 108. Well, actually, I think sure. I do know who will sure. clock a 108. Uh, I have an idea. So I change the detail, and from Destiny down to NR, who puts a lap time at second place. Um, it will be five thousandths of a second from first to second, and pretty close there. Yellow in sector two, and they're That's going back. That, yep, that is Seafreeze huh? off the track. Um, so yeah, NR was able to set a lap time five uh, hundredths closer, and now um, today marks the final race for a couple drivers in this league. And the reason why we say that is because they will be co becoming owners next season uh, by the names of NR season two champion. He will be, I, I, I think so, because he's an owner, and that makes sense if he's not racing next season. So NR will <laughs> uh, hang up the fire suit and the helmet at the end of this race and call it quits and be satisfied with his three-year or three-season career in TCR. Also retiring at the end of this race will be Truth is Clutch. Um, well, Truth is an interesting character, to say the least, in this league. I mean, there's not much to him. Yes, he is. Yep, very simple nope. man, and when I say that, I mean half the time when he races, he's not even sober. So, um, yeah, he's a very interesting <laughs> person to be around. And after the race, he's never sober. So, um, you know, oh, Truth man. is always a nice guy to talk to. Uh, so we're gonna, definitely going to miss him on the racetrack, but he's still going to play a huge role Absolutely. in this league. Next season, he'll be owning Sauber, if I'm correct. Yep. So, and then NR, if you were curious, I think NR owns Ferrari or Haas, one of those teams. I believe it's Ferrari. Yes. And then yeah. for us, you will be owning Force India next season. Yeah, that is correct. And I will be owning McLaren. Uh, and both, and my team has already gotten both drivers. Uh, I'm not sure about you, because there's a lot I have of. Mine. I, have you signed them yet? Yep. Okay. I'm not in the group yep. chat, so I don't exactly know what goes on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got them uh, this past week, yes. Yeah. So as drivers are out there trying to set faster laps, you want to sort of talk about how the free agency market is going in TCR for Season 4? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's just uh, the bottom of the barrel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got taken uh, very quickly. Um, kind of, Kind of like how... Uh, Kind of like how um, the 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 uh, just un unleashed um, five of their players for Matt Kemp. You know, they just said, "Here, take them. Yeah. We don't want them." 
<laughs> we want this guy. So yeah, we just unload. Everybody just got unloaded and gone and yeah, sad. <laughs> Whoa, sea freeze in the grass. What's going on, buddy? Uh, I thought you told me that he was going to be using his wheel for this race. I'm not a, not sure if I'm correct. But oh, I think, I think he, he did say that. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. So it could be trying some mm -hmm. new things. But... Uh-oh. So yeah, like we talk about the free agency, if anyone doesn't know or if anyone is tuning in to TCR, um, McLaren has signed Jermaine and Destiny for next season. Uh, mm -hmm. Jermaine has set a time in fifth. He's from McL for McLaren right now, so he's basically renewing his contract. Um, I'm not sure who you signed, uh, Carl. I have, have uh, uh, Brennan. And the, he's not here this weekend, but we do have his... Teammate Abba Abba Dabby. <laughs> Abu Dabby Abby yeah. uh yeah Abby uh uh one seven six nine three feel like I'm about to call somebody right now <laughs> the, uh, the numbers man <laughs> we just go with Abby yeah we signed yeah. up so. okay mm -hmm. so obviously with the Red Bull uh Red Bull have renewed both contracts with their drivers Seafreeze and Ishne so uh, the defending mm -hmm. constructors champions will be looking to redo that. Their owner is Sean, by the way. Uh, I'm not yep. sure if, if Sean is here or I'm blind. I don't see him on the list. Uh, no, he's not on the list. Okay, good. Just checking. Uh, going uh -huh. through the grid, there's Talon, CDMC. There's King. I'm trying to go through all the drivers. I'm, I'm, I just want to make sure. Uh, Ishne actually put a good lap in fourth. They haven't talked about him too much. Uh, lately, I mean, yes, his team did uh, clinch constructors, and with the news of him resigning with Red Bull for next season, uh, you know, bring, carrying some motivation towards season four. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned to you about season four, about the free agents, uh, out of all these drivers here, again, I'm not up to date because I'm not in the group me chat, so you're going to tell me, um, out of all the drivers on, out of the 15 we have in this lobby, are there any drivers here that have not signed with the team yet for next season, besides NRN Truth? I'm not sure about King Cry uh Chris. Not Christ. Chris. I'm not too sure about him. Um there I think with GT GTR I think is with Haas, I believe. And Cam Luca not, not too sure. And I think Jeremiah Jeremiah's on my team. He's on your team, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right now there's only two. T uh, and t oh, wait, let me see. Talon is where? Talon is probably Renault. Renault probably, and that's my guess. Yeah, and I think Alex owns Renault. I'm not. I'm not sure. I so, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the only two. Camden, Camden, Luca, and uh, in uh, GTR are the only two. Oh, and in, in, in uh. King Christ. King Christ. I think we're yeah. King Christ. <laughs> yeah, your mic keeps cutting out, uh, Carl. Just letting you know, and my and my headset keeps cracking out. I'm not sure about the live stream. I don't want to check or uh -oh. else the audio will go through there. Um, but I think right. it should improve over time. Uh, uh, while be, you're hopefully. talking, yeah, while you're talking, uh, NR set a lap time in to take over Destiny's full position. That is a 111.3, and he leads uh -oh. it over Destiny by 110. Now, I'm going to look through the drivers inside the top nine, because they're all less than a second within each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I mean, there's drivers such as Motor City inside the top ten, same with Talon. You have even Roll inside the top ten in, in the Haas. I mean, a lot of these drivers have put in good time. So, however, Seafreeze, uh, and I think he, yeah, he hasn't really set a good lap. Obviously, he's going to go out there for one final run and improve on his lap time as Talon was able to squeeze in there and take that other front row starting spot of second place that oh. is again a tenth off uh, of NR's He's time with, yeah, with, uh, with one minute remaining so uh, yep. a little question here do you think yep. NR will be able to hold on to pole position because he is sitting in the pits right now and he's sort of risking that position um, at the at the moment do you think he'll be able to get pole position Ooh, that's a toughie man uh, if he does He's just gonna squeak by with it, just barely. I think it will barely just get it. 
the yellow in sector three. Whoa! Head on as the wall goes through. Oh. <laughs> First final qualifying session. We caught that at a moment of time. Oh, Abby, Abby, Dabby. Okay, he's just retiring. Okay. Um, there's a lot of weirdness going on. Okay, a car parked on top of another car. That is very where, weird. Where is that? Where is that? Oh, and a car just smashed into another car. Sector 2. Um, <laughs> I love your, uh, you know, details. <laughs> a, a car on top of a car? I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Because... <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> someone retired, and then I'm like, because I just caught it when they retired, and then another car just parked like, like right on top of them, and they retired, and then and I'm like, another car just like basically crashed into a ghost car, and I'm like, oh, it was Sauber. It was, yeah, it's 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 all weird. <laughs> it's Canada. Everything, anything can happen in Canada. Yep, Roll takes the fastest time, a 111.2, one tenth over NR, he loses ah. pole position. And I go with the grid, everybody but CDMC and GTR Line have set a time in qualifying. A um, mm -hmm. little press release from Cam saying, thank you guys for racing and qualifying. Yep. What do you have to make of that quote? Well, I don't think there's anything uh, uh, personal. Oh, well, well, well I guess I, I just... Spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I, I guess that's uh, yeah, yeah. I guess it was personal. <laughs> well, you know that's uh, the heated battle in the very last race, especially uh, a track like this. Everybody loves Canada. You can't look, you can't hate it. You gotta love it. You know. Yeah. Um, but I will say this though, uh, with a little bit of time remaining that we do have. I'm going to uh, count this as, uh, if you're familiar with the Royal Rumble, um, basically the wall will be like getting thrown over the top rope. So the wall of champions will always play a factor. So we'll see who will get eliminated. Yeah, the wall of champions always plays a threat to anyone uh, on any Canadian Grand Prix grid. As time counts down from one minute, I think it would be a good time to talk over the track facts today. Canadian Grand Prix okay. like Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal, Canada is 4.3 kilometers long or 2.7 miles long and it contains 14 corners and the fastest race lap record is a 113.6 held by Rubens Barrichello in the F2004 and 2004 in the Ferrari and uh, well I mean that was a pretty fast time for a race lap record I know even in F1 2016 you can get something like that so definitely mm -hmm. I expect these drivers to maybe even get you know 111 times I mean, I wouldn't say 110s, you know, the laps would be slower than qualifying uh, time, so maybe 111, 112, uh, we'll see, but, you know, that lap will probably get shattered by half the field, wouldn't you think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. With these cars, no question about that. No question. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm ready for the main event. Let's eat. Yeah. Speaking about the main event, the many, many drivers... Weren't actually looking forward to the final race of the season. I mean, this does cap out on a great season in Trinity Competitive Racing. Also, many drivers oh, really yeah. like this track, believe it or not. And, you know, I'm, I, I hate to be biased, but this track it does provide some good racing. I like coming here. Beautiful place to mm -hmm. be. But Canadian stands on top here at home. Roll takes pole position wow. for the final race of Season oh, 3. Nice. Second nice. place joining him alongside in the front row is NR. Second row is Talon and Destiny. Row number three is Abdi and Ishne. Row number four, Motor City, Seafreeze. Fifth row, Jermaine and Chris. Uh, row six is going to be Cam and Luca and Cam. And then we have Truth, CDMC, and GTR Lion at round, round, rounding out the grid here at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. And, uh, well, uh, I, I do enjoy this track. Do you, So, speak about this track. Um, there are going to be different strategies that these drivers will play. Uh, many drivers qualify on, on the ultra soft tires. Um, do you think we'll see an easy one stop? Um, I, I, I'm probably for, forgetful, but do you think it'll be a one stop or a two stop? Or do you think these drivers will have to, you know, drivers outside of the top ten? Do you think they'll start on the harder compound? What, what, what's your thoughts? Mm, I think maybe a couple of drivers might start on the harder compound, and it definitely will be a one stop. Absolutely. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Yep, just checking. And don't forget the formation lap. Formation lap? Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. For the last time. For the yeah. last time. Yeah, for the last time. So time counts down for the five green lights to fill our five red for five five lights to begin our final formation lap of the season. Yes. Yay. So like we said, on pole is a Canadian. I believe taking his first pole position if I'm correct. Yes it is. Yeah. And it comes at home, so what a way to do it. Takes it by one tenth uh over and R who's mm -hmm. in second, who joins him alongside on the front row. Row number two, like we said, Talon in mm -hmm. Destiny. Row number three, Abdi in Ishne. Row number four, Motor City in Seafree's our champion. Um, like you said, testing out that new wheel, so that, that's the reason why he's back there so much. Row number five, Jermaine and Chris, and like Jermaine told me, he's testing out a new wheel. So a lot of drivers going towards the wheel in season four. How do you think that'll affect them? Oh, I think the, some guy's performances is going to drop down a little bit, actually. Uh, from my understanding, the wheel is not an easy thing to uh, master right away as the controller of course is just easy one two three but makes you feel like a formula one uh uh driver just just dealing with a bunch of buttons and trying to pay attention to the straights and trying to worry about not crashing into the wall when you got to change the tires when you're trying to tell the pit crew to get ready so it should yeah. be good yeah usually when i league race i'll just sit on the edge of the bed with my controller i i, I can't imagine how the guys with a wheel sit because they'll be leaning back they'll have their feet uh, you know, hedged up against the wall and uh, this huge multi-hundred dollar setup. When well, you could easily just get a pad, set the edge of your bed, and have some fun with the charger cord plugged into the PS4. That's how I usually do it, just in case yep, if I run out during the race. Um, so yeah, there you go. yeah. Row number six, Cam and Luca and Cam. Row number seven, Truth is Clutch for his final Grand Prix and CDMC and riding at the final row by himself in that row is a Torasso of GTR Line, and that is our grid for this year's Canadian Grand Prix. So yeah, hey. I'm excited, are you? Yes, I am. Here we go, the meat and potatoes. <laughs> Five. Five red lights. And Green. <laughs> we're going for the final time this season. And Let's Roll gets off to a good start. This is my favorite corner. <laughs> yeah, I love that sitting island there. I look back in the pack, I see a couple of Mercedes, a couple of Torrasos. Believe it or not, they're clean. Oh, never mind, I jinxed it. The two Mercedes are into the ball facing each other that's king oh, chris no. and camden luca they've spun on the first lap and uh looking back i'm not sure what caused uh, that one um i mean oh, i man. do but i oh. can't remember be careful there chris so to, uh, get out of there oh we got a <laughs> stop and go penalty five seconds on camden luca yeah ignoring the yellows Side by side is Jermon and Seafreeze, two new wheel users. They're going uh, wheel to wheel at it. Hopefully their pace improves in the off season. As uh, you know, I, I would like to say now on lap one, you know, happy holidays to everyone who is probably already out there and traveled. And you know, just in case I forget by the end of the race, just like to say that, but already leading, putting up about more than a two, almost a two second gap is Roll. And he's opened up pretty well off the race start. And coming across Oof. the line, Destiny is ahead of NR. And we're looking back with Truth. Wheel to wheel he goes with Seafreeze. The sister team gets by as he runs very wide. Takes a creative line as Seafreeze trying to go underneath him but loses the back end off turn two. Uh oh. But Truth will get by for P9. And we look further in the background. It looks like uh, King Chris and Camden Luca are in the pits. Camden Luca furiously waiting behind his Silver Arrow teammate. Taking oh, their time. Man. Oh, man. Almost had a... Almost had a, two, uh, a, a team take each other out. That's that's, that's crazy. Yeah, they, they did take each other out. On the final race of the season. And wow. not, the, not the best way they would have imagined to end out the no, season. No. Oh. Let me put on this detail. Uh, there you go. On the tires. See, like we mentioned, both of them will put on the Ultra Soft tires, and you were right. Some drivers put on the Super Soft tires. Those were Cam, GTR Line, CDMC, and Truth. And speaking of Truth, he's you know he's on a rapid move, and now he's going to go to the inside, but no backs out. He was going to look to the inside of Motor, and now Seafreeze may be looking to try and get by. 
Pass his lap, 113.8. Yeah. Seafreeze looks to the inside, dives it down in there. Truth spins. Truth spins with Seafreeze, and those two have come together. Ah. Uh, NR, three second time penalty. Oh boy. Yep, NR goes around the outside, back to the inside, and now all of a sudden, Destiny will have the inside. Squeezes on through, and as he takes second place. As Motor City, oh. he's retired. Motor is out. Oh. And. Uh. In this final race of season three, we could possibly <sighs> get Motor in here. He wanted to do so well in Canada, too. Yeah, we, he, we were talking with Motor last week. He said, I want to do so well here. This is a good track of mine. I would like to put on one stellar performance to finish off the season, you know? Because last week uh -huh. we were talking about Sauber and Motor, and all he wanted to say was, I want to do the best possible thing for the team. This team needs. Um, the better position in constructors, and they needed a good finish today. I mean, Can is barely mm -hmm. inside the points, and with Motor's retirement, that you know that thought is looking impossible after that retirement. Yeah. And, uh, speaking of Can, he's on the super. So, so I don't know how uh, the tire factor. You know, I love the tire factor. So <laughs> we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Oh. Uh, with this being a very quick track, somebody uh, manage their tires, please. Let's look back with Tremont <laughs> and uh, is that Ishne? Yeah, it is Ishne. I thought it was Seafreeze for a second, but yeah, Seafreeze is in tenth because Ishne is in fifth, mm -hmm. and Germine is yep. working up a lot of time on Ishne. And uh, is it eventually, maybe with the next couple of laps, you will see Germine charging on through for fifth place against Ishne. Eventually, right on board off the hairpin. Uh, and headed down the casino straight. And it looks like that's where Ishne really gets his speed. I think he has a better setup that, that's really meant for the straight sides of the corners. Because every time, speed. Yeah, every time off the mm -hmm. corner, I can just see him gaining a lot of speed. And, you know, despite Jermaine being behind and him having a slip string, it, it still doesn't work for him. Mm hmm Indeed. So, Oof. So for the people watching the stream, I'm sort of going to pause it for the next minute. We will get Motor City in here finally to talk to him about what happened and see if he wants to come to with us for the rest of the race. So we'll be right back. Also, Carl, if you could rejoin the party, your mic is like on low quality. Just rejoin. Okay, I'll invite you back. Got motor in here. I'll eventually, once he joins us. Okay. Did you rejoin or no? Okay. Oh yeah, you're streaming too. Okay. Um, there we go. We got motor. Got motor. There you go, motor. Uh, tell us what happened. There I mean, you. we were talking about you a couple laps prior to that, and then you you finally went, and well now you were the first retirement of the race. So tell us what happened to you. Well, man, I fucked up. I don't know what the hell I did, dude. I'm fucking pissed. Sorry that I'm swearing in this, but I'm actually just super pissed. I just came off the corner and... I don't know, man. Just lost it. And It is what it is. I was hoping to finish good and try to get some points for constructors. Because, you know, we got a tight battle between us and uh, Renault right now. But, um... I don't know. I'm, I'm really frustrated. Um... Mm. I just, I don't know. I, I hope Cam can pull it out and get us some points and possibly, um, you know, maybe we can keep constructors over uh, rail, Renault, which would be really nice. But, uh, yeah, I crashed out. I don't know, it's like my fourth DNF, fourth or fifth DNF of the year. It's been, it's it's been a struggle. And, uh, I don't know, I had a good race in China, but this race was not very good. Oh, man. You know, it's, it's, it's it's tough. It's tough, you know. You know, you love a track that's uh, like, like Canada, like you said, and you, know, you got everything going, and it's just well, unfortunately, uh, in those situations, just one little thing just mm -hmm. makes it a bad, bad day. Yeah, I just came off that corner, yeah. weird, and 
Uh, I don't know. Well, it looks like Cam's about to pass the CD right now, so I hope yeah, he can DRS. overtake him. Yeah, DRS, if he can overtake him and keep in front of him, then I really hope. I really. He's good at this track. He just didn't qualify good. Someone screwed him up in qualifying, so. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's frustrating. Yep. And for the people watching, we apologize for the language. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, nice to see that you're in the heat of the moment when it comes to those interviews. Nice to see you're truthful. Uh, yeah. So. yeah you know, he was just uh, speaking French since we're in Canada here. So uh, that's all it was. Yep. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> I will point out wheel to wheel with Destiny for the race lead. Around the outside he goes. And uh, just giving him just enough room. Finally gets a good exit off the hairpin. They'll be wheel to wheel as we head down the casino straight. Royal trying to hang on to the lead. And you can hear the Canadian fans in the background. They're trying to roar and support their home favorite driver. And it looks like Roll is hanging on. And I think Ooh, NR on, got us a little mistake. I'm not sure if he did. I, yeah, I think NR has a broken front wing as well. Um, he dropped many positions. Uh -oh. But yeah. NR may be pitting this lap. I'm not sure if he is or not, but uh, I just saw he lost two positions, and front wing looks different than it should. That's all I'm going to say about NR. I'm not sure if it looks broken, but oh, it looks boy. different. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> what happened to Jeremiah? I just saw him drop a bunch of positions. What happened yeah, to him? I did notice he had a broken end plate. I, again, I don't know what happened. Because we that was when we invited you, and once we invited mm -hmm. you, I saw you had a broken uh, front wing, and I don't know how to explain it, but he must have chipped it, and now he's setting oh. fastest lap times back in mm -hmm. P2, or P12. Guess, guess it ain't broken. Well, he pitted, and put on ultra stop oh. tires. So he'll be going for the <laughs> two-stop in this race. <laughs> he's got the fastest lap, so that's why he guess it ain't broken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, okay. Uh, so going up to the grid, we just saw Destiny attempt to move on roll, and he's still trying to. On the back end, off wall of champions. You know, last week, Destiny had a good shot of winning, just found himself in a mistake, and now today, he has a chance of winning as well. And he's going to be on the back end of roll this lap. And, you know, I'm looking at those lap times. It just feels, it feels like... The end of Sector 2 and Sector 3, or the beginning of Sector 3 and the end of Sector 2. It feels like Destiny is really strong there, and that's where it, when he gains so much on Roll. And Sector 1 is really just where Roll pulls away. So, I mean, it depends what sector you're at, because obviously each sector is different from, uh, you mm -hmm. know, each other counterpart. Um, there's certain parts of the track that drivers will like. You know, for an example, if you're at Sector Americas, I would like... Uh, sector two is in two and three. I don't like sector one that much. You know, the drivers have different preferences. And as you can see, entering sector number two. I mean, look at look at that time. He's gonna go to the back end and go to the outside. And mm. this time, should try the switch over maybe. <clears throat> he definitely has the DRS. We'll see what have to him, Cam. Come on, Cam. Down Get the one. straight. Goes Destiny. He's going to look to the outside, but blocking is going to be Roll. Yeah. Woo. Woo -hoo. This is great. He'll have to cook something up as they head down into turn number one. He's going to have the outside. Can he ring it around and have the inside this time? They bang oh. wheels around the outside. Back to the inside goes Destiny. They'll be wheel to wheel off turn two. And there you go. They're still going at it. They'll have the inside once Man. more in three. He's going to have to have it in there, but no. Roll hangs on. For the race lead. Man. And, uh, forgetting about my guy in the back there, uh, Abba. Abba Dabba. <laughs> in third, he's pretty close, too. So he's... That was a good pickup for you, Sensation. <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. Very, I've... very quick. Yeah. The more that the front two battle, the more that, uh, Abby D is able to catch up. So, mm -hmm. you have to also have to bear in mind that lapped car, the Mercedes, is in the way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you have to keep that in mind. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still sick. I, I'm trying not to uh, cough or anything. So, I, I, to, I had to take a breath there. But down the straight they there go, down the casino straight. Roll's still leading after 10 laps. He's gotten enough challenge. He started with a two-second gap, and now it's worked down as he skims the wall. A terrible exit. Whoa. And here comes Destiny. Destiny's going to try and lead this lap, and he does. Destiny takes over the yeah. lap, 
He's going to have the inside, runs him off. And if he has the outside momentum or he's going to let him by, we will see. And he does. Yeah. Destiny takes the lead. Wow. Oh, he's got penalty oh, too. Oh. oh, man. I think Roll's got one. Yeah. Oh, a quote. Oh, he's going to go back up the inside. Oh, man. These guys are really going at it. You know, at this point it. in time, they're holding up Camden Luca, who's a lapped Mercedes car. Taking on board with yeah. him. I mean, look at this stuff unraveling in front of him. Even him, he's probably screaming in his helmet. He's trying to tell his race engineer, and he's trying to tell him, get these guys out of my way. I need to go by. I am faster than them. You know, despite that I'm a lapped car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So Destiny already pulling away a gap. Cam, however, was able to pass CDMC and move into P4, so that's good news for you, Motor. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Someone just PM'd me asking if you're a commentator because you've been in the booth so many times. But, um, <laughs> just to update Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? I'm not going to say. It, it's anonymous. Um, oh, <laughs> as Cam goes by Cam. for third, as AbD pits. Uh, um, nah, I just had some bad races, whoever wants to know, and it's whatever. I've had good races and bad races, everyone has bad races, this is a track that I'm not very good at, and I wasn't sus suspecting to be very good at anyway, so, um, I don't know, maybe it worked out that I crashed out, could cam some position, free position maybe. I mean, it worked out in our favor, we got some more action in the commentary booth, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of action, it actually looks like it's dying off between Destiny and Roll. Once he got by him, the gap is starting to increase. But if I look between any other driver, looks to be with a Germine and GTR line, looks to be starting to heat up between the two. Actually, the three. You have to bear in mind there's NR in front. Um, the gap is less than a second between each driver. And eventually, Germine will inch into the top nine once he gets by a GTR line. Uh oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at the Man. stops, and everyone inside of the top four has not pitted yet, but everyone outside of it has. Because remember, Abdi okay. pitted, there's also Talon and Ishne and R, they've all pitted. Uh, Truth, yep. on his final ever race in TCR, um, he's already made two pit stops, same with King Chris. And, um, <sighs> well, obviously when King, I mean, there's a reason why King Chris pitted twice, it's because... Uh, mm -hmm. you know, the first lap incident with Truth's Clutch, yeah. you know, he, he's a mystery. His personality is unique, so I, if he pits 27 <laughs> times in this race, I would not be surprised. Ooh. That's truth for you. He, for, yeah. for all I care, he probably isn't sober while racing, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. And all with the fastest uh, he lap. He is, he is sober. Yeah. One scotch, one bourbon, one beer. <laughs> 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 okay, that battle is over with with CD. Finally, let the Mercedes go by. I yeah. think that uh, Destiny really wants this race. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking He's of Destiny, oh my god, after China, I was talking to him after the race. He was so mad. Ooh, Roll just got a five second stop oh, and go penalty. Oh, oh that was Boy, the main competitor. Oh. Look like your teammate will be taking first place. Uh oh. oh. Let's get a cam. Uh oh. So I will point That's out a couple news. facts here. Don't don't want to interrupt anyone, but remember okay. Destiny has a three second penalty, and yes, you know due to roll coming into the pits too fast, five seconds added on, so that is two plus yeah. for roll. Meaning if he gets ahead of Destiny, he's gonna need at least a two second gap to at least be ahead of him technically on the track. Um, you know, also to point out, like we said, Destiny pitted as well with Roll. Um, you know, Cam Roll's stayed out. Penalty. Roll yeah. another penalty that adds up yeah. to eight. What about our penalty, uh, Cam? Uh, I don't think Cam has got right a penalty. Now. Cam is pretty clean when it comes to penalties, so I don't think he has any. He's got Cam and Steed there. So on lap number 14, Cam still leads by around roughly three seconds. And, um, you know, welcoming the new viewers. This is the final race of TCR. 
of season number three. Season number four is gonna be double the time is better, probably even more. A lot of stuff happening with uh, the new owners, the new money system, the credits, new drivers. You're gonna have a full grid. It's gonna be awesome. And I cannot wait for Trinity Competitive Racing in season four. That should happen in 2018. So as for 2017 note, we thank you everybody for watching all the TCR commentaries for 2017. We appreciate the support. And uh, we'll finish up the race. Um, you know, I'm making it sound like it's the last race of the season. It's not. Or, I mean, you know, the last lap of the race. Uh, but it's not. It is the last race of the season and the last race of the year. So I'd like to say now, um, I deeply uh, thank everyone for tuning in. Um, the support of the commentaries of, you know, publicizing TCR. Fantastic racing going on between every single driver out there. These drivers do not disappoint, and they always, um, you know, provide some action on the track. And, you know, everyone um, appreciates that. I do, too. And actually, I can't believe we haven't even mentioned this. We're 15 laps in, and I forgot to say, Blaster Brennan, a race ban in the Canadian Grand Prix. We, I just realized that. He got a race that's ban right. for today. That's yeah. Right. So that's yeah. why there's only one Ferrari out there. Oh, Whoa, oh, in the wall of champions they go. That's Cam oh, into the wall with the left so car of Cam get... Din, Luca. Uh, Damn it. Man. King Chris. All right, Cam and Luca needs to get out of this league right no, now. No, no, that's King Chris. My bad. King Chris. King, King Chris needs to get out of this league right now. Oh, man. Oh, 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 boy. And Cam must be furious in that cockpit oh, yeah. and he has a reason to do so yeah i got all of that i got all of that on i got all that too man yeah, um that's, something that's... i will point out um abdi actually is ahead of destiny and you know i sound surprised the reason why abdi pitted so did destiny meaning our provisional race leader <laughs> is abdi not destiny and i'm not sure what the reason for that is i'm not sure what happened maybe if Destiny was held up or had a bad stop, but Destiny's behind Abdi when CDMC oh. pits, and never mind, yeah. Abdi goes by, CDMC is yet to pit in this Grand Prix. That's my guy. <laughs> you got my guy for next year. There he is. Oh. Hey, again, yep. not to be biased, but you know, for a commentator's perspective and an owner perspective, you know, you can sort of sense that Carl is rooting on Abdi, you know, driver for next year. <laughs> You can sort of sense that I'm rooting on Destiny for next season because he's going to be my driver for next season. So, I oh, mean, snap. yeah, oh, snap it is. <laughs> so, really, <laughs> you know, dis different sides of this, you know, and then we have Motor in here cheering on Cam as always. He's in third, believe oh, it or not. Man. Still hanging it's on. It's a three way dance. Yeah, three way dance in the top three. What a coincidence. <laughs> 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 it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday Night Raw. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's nice. Already happened once. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh boy, this is. But this is definitely a real good uh, battle. I'm gonna ride on board with NR. Him? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna highlight NR for the next minute. I don't want to take up too much spotlight on him, but we mentioned there are two drivers on this grid today. And actually, he's going to try and pass Ishne, so we'll talk about that for a minute. As he frees a three-second penalty, he's going to look to the inside of Ishne, locking up, running Ooh. very wide, cuts him off just enough, and R takes away P6 for the time being. As there's Ishne, he wants redemption. We're going to talk about NR for a minute. This is his final ever Trinity Competitive Racing League event, our season number two champion, our defending champion in TCR. This is his final race in the league. So after this, it'll be sayonara and retirement, and he's going to enjoy it as well with truth. And, uh, you know, I'd like to give a big, big tribute to NR. Last season, I ran part-time in this league, and he was my teammate. Such a nice guy to know. Fantastic guy. I wish him best of luck in the future of league racing. And NR, I mean, I, again, season two champion, a bunch of wins in this league. He's, I, I believe he's going to race this season. Um, he hasn't had the best season three as many would have imagined as a defending champion, but um, NR will be taking sort of a vacation, you know, owning a team in TCR. It's going to be good for him. And, uh, well, after that, we'll appreciate his stats and everything as he'll become an owner as Ishne. Got a terrible exit off that corner. I was going to be under attack from Germine. Going to go to the inside. 
Into the hairpin they go. Double lock up. They'll be mm. wheel to wheel off the hairpin. Oh boy. As, I'm not sure. Take it easy there, boys. <laughs> I take it easy, definitely. Both <laughs> of them were banging wheels. Yeah. Hopefully they don't bang the wall. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll see about this corner. Let's see. Oh, they yeah. keep the lead. Finally. Uh, oh boy. So, as a meantime, there's a couple battles that could be going on, but for the next minute, talk about truth. And I know he's 34 yeah. seconds off the pace of the car in front of him, but it is his final race in TCR. Um, you know, drastic as he actually is letting by Abdi, I believe so, Abdi. But like we're saying, yeah. um, truth, final race of the season for him, final race in TCR. Abdi's and, got um, a penalty. Yep, Abdi yeah. penalty. As that gap is actually between Abdi and Destiny. Um, 1.9 seconds, but, you know, bear in mind that Destiny has 3 seconds as well, so that doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, like we're saying with Truth, final race in TCR for him. So after this, he'll be going on the retirement tour. He'll enjoy it. And, uh, well, I mean, for Truth, it's very different. I keep bringing up, you know, he, he's a unique character in this league. Such a nice guy to talk to. I mean, what, when he's sober, at least. When he's sober. I, I told too, I told too <laughs> many of these jokes about him drinking on this stream. So I think I'll give him, you know, a rest for now. But... You know, he'll be missed okay. in this league. Oh, hold on a second, Jermaine. What is Jermaine doing? What did he do? He punts Ishne in the wall of champions and gives him a penalty and a broken front wing for Jermaine. Oh, That's man. outrageous. I'm not sure what he was doing. I mean, I know he's going to be my driver for next season, but I'm not sure what he was doing. But uh -oh. he drove like that was a straight. He drove like he was Brennan for a second. And Whoa. he lost control. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's struggling in the corners and I missing probably a, lost control of it. Yeah, missing a left end plate and many more parts of that front wing are now gone. Mm. Cam, therefore I am in fourth. Mm -hmm. Now are up with Talon because he's reeled in Cam a lot. Remember Cam still has a broken front wing, so right on board with Talon. Ooh. Remember, Cam in the corners, he's going to struggle a lot. Remember, he still has a broken front wing. He has not pitted since his incident. He's out in the Wall of Champions. Now down the straight. Casino straight mm. will have a look to the inside. Cam heads into yep. the pits oh. to fix that front wing. Both so them. does Ooh, okay. Talon. Five seconds stop, go Cam. Ah, uh, uh, jeez. And R just says, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Yep. Through the grid, it looks like Cam will fix that front wing, and uh, Germain obviously should be able to fix that front wing as well. Number 29, and I'm not sure if he brought, he'll be brought to the stewards after this race. And I'm lucky that um you know it's not owners yet in this league because I would have had to pay yes. a lot of money for him doing that to Ishne in the Wall of Champions, uh, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. In truth, a minute behind. Picks up another three-second penalty. I tell you what, if the guys was pick up penalties and points add up, man, somebody's going to have a huge lead if, if it was the other way around. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's not. I'm going to look back up Abdi, because Abdi is slowly Abdi's. starting to be caught in by Destiny. Actually, that's a, that's a terrible exit off Wall of Champions. Did he, he didn't pit. No, he did pit earlier. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. But then bear in mind... I, I'm just saying that he's, uh, that, that Destiny's on the softs, and, yeah. uh, Roll's on the softs, so... Yeah. Yeah. I will point out, believe it or not, Abdi's on the ultra soft tires, Destiny's on the softs, and Destiny is still reeling in Abdi. It's gonna be a good battle once they get close to each other. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate to say this, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, I got a knock on my door. It's important, so you two will be able to commentate for the next couple of minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got you. We got you. It's like a two. Whoa. <laughs> a clash of the titans. Looks like Cam's in seventh. CD's in fifth. Oh, Talon truth sixth. That's the battle for the characters. Ooh, truth. Yeah. truth is going to be my yeah, owner he... for next year. Uh oh. 
Uh oh, we got a battle down the straights. It'd be Should we get truth in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if oh Abby, he's definitely now has the lead. Oh. Here comes Roll. He's definitely gonna take number two. Um, oh, I'm not the host of the party. That's Alan, so I, I couldn't do it. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Talent's got a three-second penalty. Mm-mm. Not good. Yeah, NR in third. My guy, Abby, in fourth. CB. I don't notice the guy who's been struggling in this race is, uh, see if you're starting to interrupt you, uh, uh, -huh. uh sensation. But uh, I just wanted to say this before I forgot about it. Uh, What's see if he's really been struggling in this race. Oh, yeah, I think he, uh, I think he's has tried to go on to the uh the wheel for this one. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that might be the case. Yep, it is. Yep. That might be what it is, so I don't know, it's no sweat off his back. Both of the eventually both were struggling really. Yeah. All in all. Yeah. Some freeze and ten? Uh have a little battle with Jeremiah, who's trying with him, and I think he may. There'll be some hard breaking here. Wow, these guys are tight now. Oh, DRS zone. Should be Jeremiah who gets that. He will definitely gonna. No, well, will he pass the freeze? Will he? Will, will he? Uh, yes, he does. Oh, oh, see, freeze had to cut the corner, unfortunately, just to avoid him. Oh. Damn, Luca, man. Bad, bad day at the office. Let's see what's going on with the race leader. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. So, what if I missed? Well, I miss last three laps. Is it? Uh, well, not much. Two laps. Not much, really. Just, uh, um, truth retired. Yeah, truth retired. You did uh, miss that. Oh, uh, why did I miss that? Oh. I, I, want, well, I wanted to commentate his final retirement on TCR. Oh, what a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> what a bummer. <laughs> it's all good. So good, I think. He's, uh, Actually, why don't we just, interview Truth? Well, I think that'd be a smart thing to do. Yeah, let's get him in here. Yeah. Oh, a bummer. Um, truth? There you go, yeah. This will be... Jeremiah with the fastest lap, 113.4. And a penalty as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah. CGR line, a penalty yeah. as well. These penalties, man, I'm, I'm, I don't know. This, uh, uh, I hate to see this. Lap 25. Yep. I'm gonna look with Cam. He's reeled in the Ferrari of NR in front of him. And, uh, well, NR just passed him. I just passed him. Okay, well, I missed yeah, that yeah. as well. Just got him. Yeah. I'm not sure who's watching, but um, someone asked me why I wasn't commentating for a minute. Well, if you watch the stream, I had to go for a second to answer your question. Um, yeah, but going to the grid, it seems to be fairly calm between everyone else, besides that, you know, less sentence gap between NR and uh, Cam, but like you said, NR mm -hmm. just got by, and that gap is slowly increasing between the two. We'll wait for Truth to join the party. Um, hopefully he does. I mean, he took a while in the PSR race to join my party. But um, looking through the grid, um, we haven't really talked about any predictions. But, you know, we're coming to the final 10 laps of this Grand Prix. What do you think will happen maybe with the front runners or basically anyone in this Grand Prix? What do you think will happen with them? Very good question. Um... <laughs> I really, I, I, you might have to break out your calculator because uh, there's going to be a lot of math to be done. Cause, oh, uh, yeah. 
Seafreeze well, is well, teasing me about that. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know. I want to go with my guy, uh, but Abby, but uh, the Angry Reynolds, they're sitting four and five right now, so <sighs> is anyone's ball game. Hey, what's going on, oh, guys? Here you go, Truth. Truth, what's up, man? How you hey, doing? what's going yeah. on? I got, I got a hell of a boy. Huh? I'm a little upset, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I okay. would be too, so. Question oh, for yeah, Truth. Oh, yeah, well, you should have seen me. Yeah, Question yeah for I truth. don't appreciate what happened with Seafreeze there. Uh, he's got a lot of explaining to do on that one. He had no business coming into me like that. I don't so, appreciate that at all. Yeah. So, just Truth. Just that right now. Okay, I wish time. I was still. I, I'm sorry, but I wish I was still in. I, I quit out of the game. I was so angry. I wish I was still there so I could mm. finish off the race with you guys. But I'm just gonna just. You guys ask me some questions. I'll answer them and I'm off. I, I'm just heated. I'm heated. My last race and this kid pulls that move. I'm done. So <laughs> now, what right, the answer questions? Yeah, I, I, yeah, what yeah, was yeah. what was the what was the incident that happened? What 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 yeah. went down? Because I was well, going. Was that, that, well, that two, that three, um, we're going. I, I, was, I was in front of motor. Okay. Mm. Uh, oh, no, the motor was in front of me. I'm sorry. The motor was in front of me. C3 is behind me. And we're going, we're going, we're going. I think oh, to go yeah, inside a motor to try and die bomb him in that, the last chicane. I, I wasn't going to do it. And I went through. And then all of a sudden, here we go down the street. We go over the start finish line. And then, boom, the kid just fucking comes in. Same same thing with John Dog. He kind of he's gonna say he fucking messed up his breaking point. He didn't <laughs> stop. He knew exactly what he was doing. He's being a fucking asshole. And <laughs> boom, spun me right around. So I'm gonna call it as it is. Like I'm not an idiot. Right. I knew what he was trying to do, and right. that's it. And that's that. You know, I'd love this. I'd love to hear his explanation on that. But it is what it is. We apologize for the language. Again, our second interview we've done today, and more profanity being spread around in the final race at GCR this year. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Pardon <laughs> my French, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, being in Canada. This, this, this hashtag swears or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I frustrated he the moment. Uh, you know, I apologize for my swearing, to be honest. But you know, it's like, come on. Right. Yeah, I feel you. I wasn't feeling that one at all. Yeah. There's, there, you get into incidents like we did with John Dog earlier. You get into incidents, but that one, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You I'm know gonna... Canada. He knows Canada. That's. Uh, keep on going, guys. Yeah, you guys do, do bear your in thing. mind. Yeah, yeah. So, so, no, truth, it's not like you're having the best of races. Yeah, true. I will tell you two things. Remember that Sea Freeze is trying the wheel. He, I mean, it's like the first, second time he's doing Is he, though? Think. Yeah, he is so he for the last though? one. Is he, though? Is he, though? No, I'm sorry. Not happening. No, because the only reason why I'm saying that is because he pulled his shenanigans and then he's just gone. He's gone. No, I didn't have any wing damage. I was still pushing on, mm -hmm. and uh, that was it. So he was put. He was pulling away from me. He was even away. I'm sorry. Yep, yep. He's just he's just fooling around. It's conspiracy, whatever. Big conspiracy theory. But look into it. Watch it. Look at the okay. times. Yeah. He's he's fooling okay. around. He's fooling around. All right, guys, have a good one. No, 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 no. true, true, true. Okay. There's one more, one more. True, true, stay here, stay here. Stay here, one more, one more. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I was going to ask you one more thing. This is a very important question. Out of oh, all of TCR, what has been your favorite moment? I've always wanted to know that. Since today's your final race and now you're retired, what is your favorite moment from TCR? What is my favorite moment in TCR? Man. There's been a lot of great moments, but probably the first one was when I... My very first race in Bahrain. Can't remember where exactly I finished. It was either third or fourth, but that was probably like the best race for me. That's when everything was just going smooth, and it was just fun. Uh, I wasn't expecting a lot of, out of it, but I went with like one stop or something. I can't remember exactly what was going on. Might have been two stop, but it was just everything was going smooth, and I had a oh, man, this is great. I don't know. And then after that, it just went downhill. But I'd say my very first race on TCR because there's so much 
I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting to do anything. I was expecting to be like dead last and I, I came out with like third or fourth, so yeah. I was in my very first race here. And that's what made me stick with it. But I think it's time, you know. I've been struggling and I'd rather just sit back and watch some guys race, so be an owner. Yeah, yeah, right. Be, be like us, own a team, watch them race, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so thank you Truth for joining us in the booth for one Please, final yeah. time we appreciate yes. everything you've done for TCR from the very first race to the very last race thank you for everything you've done we appreciate again everything uh, we'll miss you as a driver but we'll look forward to the future season 4 thank you Truth thank you guys Thanks, and if, you ever, uh -huh. if you guys ever need anything you know you guys want to do a little interview or something in between you know like kind of like McLaren you're still with the NBC or yeah. whatever. Let me know. I'll hop in. Do your thing. Cool. All right, guys. Cool. Have a All good right. one. You too, man. Ciao. See you, Truth. See you, guys. All right. And we just had Jeremiah retired. Oh. Oh. Nasty what one. is that car? <laughs> that is the one. I'm wow. that. <laughs> Whoa. What? The ground is... is possessed. <laughs> Look at the tire. <laughs> safety car? Safety car? That. Question mark? Um, uh, should be. It's have, possible. They're gonna have a with problem. The, with, with the ground eating the tire? Yes. <laughs> yes. Safety car, please. <laughs> wow, that was scary. Yeah. Oh, man. And Luca. I don't know what happened there. Let's focus on the battle with NR and Cam. Yeah, and that's then, what I'm on right now. Yeah, also, Sensation uh, and Alan, I just got news. Cam and Luca put in the chat, King Chris will no longer be in the Williams lineup for next season. There's one spot available on my team. So I didn't even know Cam shocking did news there. I didn't even know Cam did Luca owned a team. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't he know does, that. He owns, I think he owns Mercedes. Oh, so this, uh, is, okay. this is his final race as well. And, you know, he just joined the season. So it's a bummer to see him go too soon. But, um, yeah. I think, obviously, that first lap incident you saw with King Chris and Camden, I think that's the reason why. I don't blame him. You know, you get in a mm -hmm. team incident, and, you know, you, you have the urge to fire someone. I, I don't blame him, as speaking of him, gets a five-second stop and go for speeding in the pit lane. Yep. It's probably King Chris's way of saying, you know, you know, a little karma for not signing me for next season, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> and, you know. Yeah believe all the fun that we've had in this race we only have a couple laps to go it's sort of a bummer um yeah two three laps to go believe it or not would uh with the penalties be destiny and and roll he does have a nine second gap but what would it be for how many penalties basically does destiny have um less than roll that's all i know roll has around okay. six seconds i think destiny has six seconds at most i know roll has six seconds at least so, what about I mean, NR? Does he have a lot of penalties? Um, I don't know, but he has. I, oh yeah, you want to know because of Cam. Um, Cam yeah, doesn't I, have any. If, I think yes, NR he does. doesn't oh. have. Cam, Cam has does. a eight. Cam has eight seconds worth of penalties because he had eight that five seconds. second stop and go. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Well, yeah. Also got another three second. Well, Cam is not getting by NR then. Um, in in the race results, we'll see about that. But something, yeah. something I will point out, for the past. Maybe seven laps. The two Renaults have been running in formation. Yes, they have. It, it's yes, been they around. Have. I hope they three. crash each other. <laughs> well, okay, what's your take on it then? Have they done anything to you, or uh, just tell us a story? <laughs> well, uh, Sensation knows <clears throat> that CD left my team without telling me in the beginning of the season. Yeah. It's kind of pissed me off. Uh, but it's whatever. Um, uh, I think Cam and I are gonna whoop his ass in the constructors next year. Sorry if you're gonna listen to this CD, but uh, it's gonna happen. Uh, and that's really all I gotta say about that. I know I just got a three-second penalty. Yeah. Oh, he's got a terrible exit off Wall of Champions. Here comes Cam uh -oh. alongside uh -oh. him. They bang wheels, and at turn number one, Ooh. and Cam trying uh -oh. to get in, loses the back end. Ah, uh -oh. uh -oh. Cam. He's just trying to put on a show for the fans. He know he knows he can't really finish ahead of him with penalties. But he gets right back up in there. Look at that. That's why I love him as my teammate. He keeps fighting. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, consistent on showing up to every race. I will point that out. And no matter what league he's oh, yeah. in, 
He's always committed to that league. He always shows up. So, you know, appreciating Cam on that one. I never say good things about Cam. I'll be completely honest. So, might as well say it's right now. He's a very nice guy. Very nice guy. Hey, now you're going over the border. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm kidding. Cam's I'm a kidding. very nice guy. I'm he kidding. He has an attitude. I'm kidding. <laughs> I want to see your reaction first. Well, we are coming to the final lap of this Grand Prix. Oh, here we go. Destiny leads Destiny. it by more than 10 seconds. Let's see what if Destiny can choke on the final lap. I'd like oh, to see that. Please no. Today. Please no. I'm crossing <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> we're, we're so. I know you two are hoping that. It off. Yeah, you two are hoping that. Your drivers, you know, push no. them on. No. I want him to get it because he he did. He should have won China, and uh, he had a boo boo. Yeah, something I will point out, you know, drivers such as Mika Heikkinen, you know, it took him a long time for him to win his first race. Once he got that motivation after winning his first race, he went on to win mm -hmm. so much more. With Destiny, he's been so unlucky, he hasn't had the motivation, and now he's gonna finally win his first. He's gonna win his first Grand Prix in TCR, and Destiny, my man, he's finally gonna do it. Through Wall of Champions, he goes for the final time. Coast on through. There you go. Destiny, he's going to weave he on through. He takes did it. victory in Montreal. Nice. First victory in TCR. And that motivation's definitely going to carry on forward for season number four. And there goes my guy in third. <laughs> Abidu. There he is. Abidu, Abidu. Here comes the raging red news. Oh, Four and five, team. respectively. Well, maybe. That's little cam. Two uh -oh. seconds back. Oh, what the? Cam jumped NR. Oh, NR broke in front of Wang. Whoa, what happened with him? Yeah, oh. he just ran into the wall and. Oh yeah, some drivers yeah. do that. Cross yeah. the line goes GTR line, finishing in a nice solid P8. So I think Cam actually finished ahead. Two Red Bulls. Cam did finish ahead of NR. Okay. Well, so that's big for us in constructors. Four, five, and six, respectively, those two, all three of those guys for Renault and Sauber. So okay. who knows if we can pull it out. Yep. So I did point out, like you said, at our final race, he's going to get jumped by Cam. So a champ hang up his fire suit and helmet, and I'll call it a day. But that's not the main topic. The main topic today on your platter for dinner will be Destiny taking victory in the final race of this season in Montreal. Awesome. For the first time in a long time, three different nationalities on the podium. Nice to see that. Yeah. So that ends out a season of Trinity competitive series racing on my channel on carl's channel and motor just Hi. tuning in for half the races um you know it's been... <laughs> you're funny ah uh, i am i am no not really if i want to be jimmy camille i could but i choose commentating instead <laughs> sarcasm there um so yeah we're gonna go through the results it'll be destiny roll abdi cdmc talon cam nr well nr fell down a lot uh gtr mm -hmm. lion seafreeze ishne uh, Camden, if I'm correct, yeah, Camden Luca. Yes. Uh, Jermaine, yeah. Truth, uh, and then King Chris, Motor City, there you are, in last, uh, finishing this season out. So, I'm, I'm gonna have a question for both of you. Yes. If you had one word to describe season three of TCR, I'm gonna start with Carl, what would you describe it as, if you had one word to describe TCR in one word, this season? Mmm... Interesting. Yeah. What about you, Mutter? <sighs> I'm going to say confusing. Oh. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, thinking about that, but I was like, no, I said I'm going to go uh, with interesting because it, it, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> my word. My word is going to have to be surprising. Um, a lot of people, and not only that, we <laughs> filled up the grid. That's surprising to me. Not only that, many guys I didn't think would win this season won, and then at our defending champion, he. He didn't have a strong season. I honestly thought he would, but he didn't show, you know, what he had in plan this season. And, you know, 
now, I mean, I just, I just realized, look at the penalties, around 20, 30 seconds for <sighs> each individual driver, except CDMT, <sighs> he's clean. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like I said, surprising. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. surprising. Yep. Um, surprising. I think today we'll actually do interviews for um, a difference at the end of the race. So right now we're going to invite Destiny in the, ra in the interview box, or the booth, and then I'll get an R for his final yes. race and talk to him. I'll get an R first because I know he's going to head off quickly. I'm not sure about him. Do 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 load of music. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, NR is already off. Is he? Oh my god, Jeremiah put in the chat. Nice driving shit, me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We apologize for the language. <laughs> um, so oh, wow. still in here. So NR8383 NR. Okay. I think I could remember that. <laughs> Half the time, yeah. I hope you can come back and do it next year because you do a great job. Yeah. I'll see about there that. There you go. I'd love to. And Sensation, you too. Oh, and I'll you too. You. <laughs> thank you too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Thanks for having me. Alright, guy. So we will wait for NR to join us. Please join us, NR. I'd love to talk to you. Come on, NR. <laughs> Notice us, senpai. Okay, so we'll wait for him to join. And, you know, I'll invite him one more time. You know, let him know that he's wanted in this booth. Um, hopefully Destiny, yeah, Destiny's still in the session, so we don't have to worry about him. Um, we'll wait for NR to join us in the party. But yeah, overall rating of this race, if you're gonna give it a rating out of 10, what number would you give today's Canadian Grand Prix? Well, with the the top three battles, I would give it a I'd give it a uh, eight. Yeah, I'd give it solid eight point five out of ten. I mean, a lot of action today, but here we go. Speaking about action, his final ever race he'll take part in to have action yes. in it will be NR. Um, we invited you yeah. first mainly because a former TCR champion. You are no longer a defending series champion in TCR race. You were the season two champion. And, well, it's your final race, and you're saying sayonara and a farewell after today. Um, I'm going to a I'm gonna ask you two questions. One, how did your race go today? And two, what was your favorite moment in TCR? Um, well, I'm not too happy about how my race went. I don't know what, what, was, uh, what was going on in the first stint. I was just, like, super loose the whole, you know, first ten laps on the, uh, the Ultra Softs. But, um... Once I put the super softs on, I was, I was fast. I don't, I don't know why. I was a lot faster with those tires, but yeah, just I don't, I don't understand how you could be a second quicker with a harder compound, but uh, yeah, just how it goes sometimes, I guess. Thank you. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I came back and got after I was in like eighth or ninth at one point after starting mm -hmm. second but still would have liked to got a podium but um you know it is what it is yeah and then as for my favorite moment in tcr oh man that's a tough one i mean on it obviously one of them has to be uh when i won the championship in, uh, <laughs> yeah. yep but uh I yeah I'll, I'll just go with that my favorite <laughs> moment because that was that was actually quite difficult because I was that was on the previous game and I wasn't I wasn't too quick on that game like how I am on this game. So it was definitely a challenge, but uh yeah, I'd I'd go with that for my favorite moment. Yeah, okay. Do you have a question, Carl? Um So what what happened? You hung up the suit. You went to the front office. How how do you feel about this? I'm feeling confident. I, mean, 
I think I have a pretty pretty solid uh, driver lineup for next season. Uh, Roll got P2 today, so that's looking promising. So uh, yeah, we'll okay. see how it goes. So thank you, nice NR, for joining us in the booth. Today we celebrate um, a champion has been crowned for T Freeze, but also reflect on the past with NR, our season two champion. Thank you for everything you've done for TCR. Um, good luck nice. to the future. We look forward for you to owning Ferrari um, as well as me owning McLaren. Hopefully we don't, you know, come in contact with our drivers in the future. We'll see about that one. Yeah. Um, but as well, thank you. It means so much to me that I was your teammate for a couple of races last season. I apologize I couldn't come up, you know, come to every race, but I tried. Um, yes. Though it did mean a lot no to me that we were teammates for a couple of races. So uh, congratulations on a well-deserved and a fantastic career in TCR. Uh, thank you for joining us in the booth and putting on fantastic racing for the past three seasons, NR. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you guys, too, for uh, providing good commentary. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. Cool. So next, we will get Destiny in the booth, and that will do it for today. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, talking about, um, you know, in between interviews, I'll talk about some stuff. So at, so after this race, out of Season 3, le mm -hmm. like I said, we're talking about Season 3. That this Today, I mean, this season was a good season. I mean, despite that, there's there really wasn't someone who could challenge Seafreeze in the championship. Uh, do you think it'll be no. the same for that next season? Well, for, uh, uh, he's going to the wheel. He struggles with the wheel. Um, he says that he will be much slower um, than his usual pace, so I think he won't be a factor for next season. I think it'll be, I think it'll be a new, a new lion that's gonna want to climb that mountain. So who that who that lion will be, we we would just have to wait and see. But it's definitely gonna be a new champion. I I, I really feel that. I strongly feel that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're waiting for Destiny to join. I'll invite him one more time. Let him know that he's wanted in this party. Same thing I did to NR. <laughs> um, so scroll on down. Destiny, join our party. You, you, dork. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you dork. Come on, Come on. dummy. Come on, join the <laughs> join the cool kids in the party. People that talk cool over kids. the race, yeah. Come on, come on, Absolutely. join us. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I mean, we talked about the confidence booster. It'd be for Destiny after he won today. Do you think he's gonna, you know, carry that motivation forwards, um, you know, to next season? I think so. I think he he has the, he definitely has the pace. He has the, he he has the the, the get up and go. I th I think he can do it, yeah. strongly. Yeah. Definitely do it. Yep. I'm gonna invite Destiny one more time. You have roll. Yeah, you do have roll. Do you? No, I don't. I have Destiny. <laughs> no, you have Destiny. You have Destiny and who's German. the? Okay. Yeah. So you got two. You got two thoroughbreds right there that can e either one could actually take the championship yep so yep. Yeah. I, yeah I pl I planned it out all on my own don't worry no I'm kidding <laughs> yeah I mean w without without those two guys I mean I don't think um, you know our season for you know next year would have would be competitive without them they came together they formed an alliance and they wanted to be on this team you know we worked you everything called? out but finally is. you joined us so destiny yes we're gonna get right into the questions because I mean one that's why you're here so destiny um, this is your first ever TCR win. I remember a couple weeks ago we were talking, and we were talking, and you know, last week, you, you kept getting podiums, you were there, you had the pace, and you know, today it finally shows off, you get your first win, I'm gonna relate you to Mika Heiken, and once he got his first win at the end of the 1997, champ or 1997 season, he went on to crush the ch competition in 1998 and win the, competi and win the championship due to his motivation rise after he won his first race. You think you have a lot of motivation going towards season four? I think I for sure have a lot of motivation going to season four. 
But okay. my real motivation was to win this first race. That was my real motivation. Now I just gotta keep it going in the next season. And you know, I'm on McLaren. He was McLaren. So, bam. It's it's a, not a coincidence. I'm gonna win next year. Yeah. Win the championship next year. Yeah, I'm hoping That's you will. Good. That's but yeah, good. Carl, you have a question. So now with um the uh, hiccup in China behind you, this now makes this much more sweeter. Yeah, I know. The last two races were like kind of not my favorite races to say the least. <laughs> right. But yeah, now that I actually got the win instead of you know having the pace and not getting it, then it's just now I kind of have that chip off my shoulder. So now mm -hmm. I can just kind of do you know do whatever I hopefully win that's all I can say okay there you go yeah. yep. so I'm happy you... for you I'm glad you got it yeah I am Thank too you. I, I sort of needed you to win a race before the season ended I wanted you to have motivation for next season but yeah yeah um so yeah, thank you for putting on good at for good action uh, this season. We appreciate all the effort you've done. Congratulations on your victory today at Circuit Shield Villeneuve in Montreal. Thank you for joining us in the booth as well. Um, and also, thank you for being one of the few drivers to not actually use profanity in their interview today. I definitely appreciate that. Yeah. So thank you. I think that'll awesome. be it. I think we've covered everything yep. we've gotten driver interviews in, and I think that'll be it for yeah. Season 3 in 2017. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. My name is Alan Cavagnaro. I'm joined alongside Carl, or Mr. Sensation, as some would call him. And also, we Yay. saw Destiny here with us, today's winner, the Canadian Grand Prix. We will see you next year for Season 4 in 2018 of Trinity Competitive Racing. My name is Alan, alongside Carl and Destiny. We will see you next year. Have a safe night, and peace. Adios.